Hey, how y'all doing? So here I am doing a little bit of uh, investigating, and uh, I'm not sure if you guys have heard the stories, but we're in uh, we're in New Mexico right now, and uh, this is really close to a town called Weed. And what's going on is it's uh, a little bit of uh, well, it's hard to describe because it's not really BLM that's trying to grab land; it's the Forest Service is grabbing water taking water that people have a claim to and uh, I just talked to the uh, the rancher that actually uh, has a claim to this plot of land here uh, he's had it since uh, 1993 and uh, been battling for it since 1993 uh, he actually got it under the uh, the Homestead Act came out here uh, with his uh, family and secured him a spot and has some cattle and here recently, uh, you can tell it's really new fence based on uh, newer uh, material. Uh, it's kind of even though it's rusted. But they put this, uh, there's this like little mouse or something that they're trying to put on an endangered species list. Kind of like what they, what they did in Nevada with the, with the tortoises, you know. Saying, hey, uh, your cattle are killing these uh, protected species or whatever. And uh, I think that that's just another ploy to... Uh, actually use as an excuse to grab the land and to uh, do whatever uh, the far overreach of the government so like this one says right now it's a wildlife habitat improvement this wildlife improvement was constructed by the Lincoln National Forest in cooperation with the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish and other cooperators what about the landowners funding the construction was provided by sportsmen Contri contributions through the purchase of habitat improvement stamps as authorized by the Sykes Act and the U New Mexico Game Commission. And then when you go down in here, it's talking about uh, Aqua Chiquita. Uh, that's actually the name of this road and the name of this area. Uh, Riparian Habitat Management Area. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that word means. Uh, riparian. We'll have to Google that. I would. Go I was going to Google it before I made this video so I can sound somewhat educated. Uh, but I don't have any service at all out here. So it's it's very interesting, you know. It says it's under the management to protect uh, the habitats. These habitats are important for all wildlife species, in, including federal and state listed species. These sensitive habitats also provide improved water quality, ground water recharge, and flood water retention. Requests for administrative access shall be made through the Sacramento Rangers District Office at 575-628-2551. And it says that the gates shall remain closed at all times. The gates are actually run over there. We're going to walk over there in a minute. So it says that the violations are punishable by, you know, the, that, that, that. But w what's really interesting is this uh, this regulation that's quoting down here, this, this bottom one, uh, CFR 261.9A. Damaging any natural area or other property of the U.S. Property of the U.S. This, this man laid a claim to this land. He has the rights to this. Uh, so, and he's trying to prove that in a court of law. There's actually been, uh, the Supreme Court heard a case, I believe it was 1978. It's New Mexico versus U.S. And there's, so there's already case law. And uh, we, we need to revert back to this. Uh, Sheriff Benny House of Otero County here in New Mexico uh, has been authorized to cut the locks off of these uh, gates, uh, the county commissioners. There's three commissioners that sit on the uh, county commission here in Otero County. I guess two of them made a vote for it and uh, voted for it for him, allowing the, the re-entry of the cattle to this land. And the third one was out of town. Since then, there's been a few meetings. Uh, there's actually a meeting, uh, a gathering of people uh, coming up on this Saturday at 10 o'clock in Alamogordo, New Mexico, right next to the movie theater at the, uh, I can't remember what it is, it's like the Forest Service office or something like that. So I'm gonna go there, uh, Jimmy's gonna be there, the guy who uh, owns this land, and uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, gain some support. Uh, Sheriff House is up for re-election, I guess election is next, uh, this upcoming Tuesday. So I don't know if that's the reason why he has uh, failed to come out here and. Uh, perform his constitutional duty uh, and there's already been a hearing by the county commissioners they already voted for it uh, he needs to come out here and uh, perform his job and uh, I don't know if he's weighing that with uh, 
his re-election because he's up for election. I don't know if he's worried about uh, getting people that are going to be upset with him uh, to be on one side of the fence. So I'm not sure. So here we are. We are going to uh, hop over this little waterway here. Let me actually put my uh, need to put my GoPro in my pocket because I'm not uh, not recording with that. So sorry. Here, y'all can watch the water for a minute. All right, let's find a uh, nice plot of uh, area to cross. There we go. Yeah, you can tell this is all newer uh, fence. You know, so you can tell. I guess, uh, can you see that new world? Yeah. So Jimmy had told me that they had uh, actually came out here uh, the other day and were working on this fence. Uh, whoever put it up for him needs to uh, rethink their actions to it according to what I believe in. So let's go over here. We'll uh, see what this sign has to say if there's a sign on this gate. Sorry if I'm uh, breathing heavy. We're at like 8,000 feet. So yeah, here's a, uh, another sign. Same thing. Uh, same sign. It's got a uh, master lock on it with a uh, Combination lock. Need to uh, need to get this lock off, Sheriff. If you're watching this, get these cattle back out here to where they need to be. There's a uh, multiple cattle that were in the uh, in the road as I was driving over here, because you know it's fenced off. Their little area is fenced off. I walked a good way down that way. Couldn't find any of the fence. So uh, it's kind of dangerous having the cattle out there in the middle of the. Uh, the road, you know, everybody can go slow, but still, it's uh, I consider it unsafe. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to turn this camera off. Uh, this is on my iPhone. I'm going to fire up the uh, GoPro. And we're going to do a uh, little bit of filming with that, just so uh get some better video. So, like I said, uh, Saturday, 10 o'clock, Alamogordo, New Mexico, right by the movie theater at the Forest Service office. We're going to have a little meeting. Thanks for watching.